It's a nice day. Oh, I'm hungry. Let me find something to eat. A snake I am going to eat you up. What a delicious stinger you will make. <laughs> ah, a snake! Please, please, Mr. Snake, for the sake of our common ancestor, please don't eat me. Really? Bringing up a common ancestor who hasn't even been around for hundreds of millions of years? <laughs> I have a parent, a wife, and a children at home, and look at me. I have all skin and bones. There's nothing on me to stick your teeth into. <laughs> Enough. I haven't eaten anything for so long and I look like a piece of string, not like a proper snake at all. <laughs> I'm gonna eat you. I'm not gonna let you go. I know that you are hungry. I'm hungry too. It's getting harder harder to get by its people. They spread that white stuff all over the field to poison our food. Silly frog. That white stuff is called pesticide. Even the insects that survive, they are full of pesticide. So if we eat them, we get the poison. My tummy hurts. Ooh, so is there pesticide in your body? People have totally destroyed the pounds, so that we have to wander all over the place to find a safe home. Our beautiful field and the pounds have been turned into great, big, ugly, squirrel things. Those are called houses. People always think they are civilized, but they don't think twice about pouring industrial and domestic waste into the rivers. Many of my brothers have died in the flat, and the most like me are forced to wander around. Oh, oh, that's such a shame. <laughs> Apart from the pollution, my home has also been taken over by a huge angry crowd of foreign bull frogs. They keep eating our little temples and have forced us to run away. Oh, that's too bad. But, you know, things for me are even worse. Many of my friends and relatives have been caught by people and killed to make into snake soup or snake wine. They think that snake meat is a nutritional supplement or that it makes their skin white and tender. Hmm. Who knows whether it works or not? Oh. Oh, so people kill snakes and eat you too? Oh, that's right, and it gets worse. Often people will beat us to a pulp for no reason at all. They've built a road right across my home that I have to cross every time I go from one end to the other. And people will go out of their way to squash me. Did they even put in a crosswalk? <laughs> no, there's not even a traffic light. In fact, we contribute a lot to human life, and they don't even know it. For example, everyone is pregnant of our poisonous venom, right? But this poison can be used to disperse blood clots in people suffering from a stroke or as an anesthetic to reduce pain. Wow, you know a lot! Hmm, that's right. I'm even now studying for my doctorate. And this is not all I can do. I also keep down the rat population, stop them from propagating themselves endlessly and eating up all of people's crops. Hmm, that's something that people ought to think about a lot more about snakes. Really? I can eat books so that people can have a comfortable life and the crops can grow better. That's right. I don't understand why they want to treat us this way. Ah! 
Oh, the poor frog and snake. Hey, what are you two crying about? The little snake and the little frog each relate their story to the turtle. I understand your pain. My situation is the same. Oh, really? How's that? People catch my brothers and make them into turtle soup and use their shells to make medicine. So turtles help people too? Right, we're used to make turtle jelly. And people keep turtles as pets. But after they've had their fun, we're just thrown out. They don't really love us. As you can see here, there are many such lovable turtles in the Da Chun Shan Nature Park. People have also brought over a kind of South American turtle with red ears. I shake with fear just thinking about them. So, you were forced out of your home by intruders, too. They have taken over our home. We have no choice but to carry our belongings on our backs and become wanderers, just like the Ninja Turtles. Apart from being driven out of our homes, the forest and rivers are also disappearing, and polluted water is constantly being released into the environment. My beautiful home is destroyed. Anyway, who's really in charge around here? We are, we are! We are the original inhabitants of Taiwan! Ah, uh, it seems we can only ask people to do the right thing and leave these poor animals a safe, clean place in which to live. The little frog, snake, and turtle. Thank you.